This is Bjerregar at the fourth. He started on 18, made a birdie. Yeah. And he's just made another at the fourth. So Lucas moves to two under and now 12 under. Plenty of birdies at the fifth today. It's certainly been the easiest hole in the course and for a big hitter reachable in two just to five when you're trying to challenge. Slightly disappointing. Just held onto the fairway, so I should be able to nip this one. This angle a bit more into the breeze. Should have a bit of grab on it. Nicely done. Ooh, I can see that. The ball backing up. Lucas Bjerregar from Denmark. Birdie chance at six. Brilliantly taken. He's in a really good run of form at the moment, Lucas. Just short. for birdie at eight. Oh, this looks good. Lucas Bjerga moves into second place. He started on the 18 doing it. His last hole is going to be the 17th, which when that comes around, will be a little bit of a disadvantage for him. Three birdies in his last five. It's four under on the day. Can he get to five? No, no, he up and out of it straight away. That's a good nine. 33 is excellent in these conditions. Started on 18 and birdied it, so it's four under for the day. He too left it well short, but. Virtually every hole from down to the 18th tee is fraught with danger. Excellent shot. Should feed back down a fair bit, come down to about 25 feet or something. Holes 11 through 17 are all averaging well over par. Most of the hardest holes. It's going to be a battle. This looks like it's settled down a bit. Garrett Beregard. Shunting one up. Will it make up the little slope? It won't. But the further it runs as we're looking at to the left, the more straight up the slope it is, it makes it a lot easier. 14 under, he's two behind the leader. Chance to make that just one up the little ridge in the green. Here is his nearest challenger, Lucas Bjerregaard, the Dane. And oh my goodness, he's an even nearer. Challenger now, just one behind. Yep. Think fast. Oh, oh, that was unlucky. No, oh, he was up and out of it. Shame. He could still be tied for the lead, though. And look at a tricky one on the hole ahead. For the more popcorny hitters, there's a few bunkers scattered around, and you might want the angle in right, but at his distance, it's, well, that's likely to just be in the rough up the left on the mounds. Shouldn't be anything too detrimental. Sometimes you get that little upslope there, Mark, and you find yourself in a divot. There's a lot of people finish there. 15 under looks like the winning score now. Likes it. A little yeah. pose. Get up there. Yeah. Oh, it's magnificent. Yeah. It's magnificent. Again, another chance. That was a beautiful action, that wasn't it? He really went. Excellent. It's only 12 feet here. You can just see the top of the hole. Oh, he's just pushed it. What a shame. What a chance. 
tough 4-4 four, four for him at 16 and 17. Yeah, I think you may be right, uh, Sam. Perfect. Shot by. Look as Beauregard's caddy as Jonathan Smart. We're talking about him earlier. He won the team event as Danny Willett's partner a few years back. He's now on Lucas's bag. Didn't recognise him. Not recognising anyone today. Oh, win. Get up, get up, go! Yeah. That's a beauty. Yeah. Can't have to think 4-4 four, four is guaranteed to play off at worst. For a two-shot lead, Lucas Beauregard. It's a big ask, 35 feet. Oh, he's got it! Birdie for Beauregard, he goes to 16 under. Good Lord, this is tremendous play, sixth birdie of the day. Let's see if can go a little bit right of the green. Oh, that's magnificent, he's drawn it, that is just as good as it gets, Jack Nicholson. Absolutely magnificent tee shot for Beauregard. Brilliant, Lucas. Absolutely terrific. Right, this is the shot then. Lucas Beauregard, second into his final hole, the road hole. How's he going to play it, Sam? It's way down the group. It's just a chip and run, Ken. That's what you and I would do. There you go. That's exactly go. it. No. Punch it in low. Yeah. It's absolutely fine. Better to be saying go than stop. He could not have hit a better, with a two-shot lead, he could not have hit a better shot. Well done for the young dame. Brilliant stuff. Gorgeous swing he put on that. Now, here we go. Doogie, this is it. He's not hit it. Oh, come on, come on. It's to win the Alfred Dunhill Lynx Championship. Slips past though, unlike so many before him, a bogey at the road hole. It's a 67, it's still a great day's work, he'll finish on 15 under, and now it all depends on what Tyrrell Hatton does on the hole ahead of him. Well done Lucas Beauregard, he's been in great form over the last couple of months, no great surprise to see him contending, and he's got the job done. Yeah, it's been a it's been a really good year. I've been uh, I've been close a few times, and uh, you know it didn't really look like I was ever in it today. It looked like um, Terrell was gonna take off with it. Um, obviously, I thought uh, I thought the three putt here on the last meant that. Uh, well, yeah, I'm really 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 happy now. It's uh, as I said, it's been a great year, and and uh, now it's just a whole lot better. So when Terrell was so far ahead, what were, what was going through your mind? What were you saying to yourself? Well, there's obviously a, a few tough holes, uh, you know, uh, 15, um, well, 12 isn't playing that easy, um, 15, 16, 17 are tough holes. Um, so I thought if I could um, make a few birdies, and, and I did, I had great chances, and little, uh, uh, I had great chances on 14 and 15 I didn't take advantage of, but then uh, to make the one on 16 felt really good. Um, yeah, so uh, I was good checking away at it um, you know I've been playing well for for a little while and I played really well today and um, yeah really pleased that it was enough delight very super well done thank you to watch European tour video click here subscribe click here